Good morning everybody, welcome to week number seven of the Tokyo Training Diary. Can you believe we are almost halfway through this series? If I've calculated correctly, it should be a 15 week series. The time is just flying and speaking about time just kind of disappearing, my 3k goal that I set last week that I thought I had two and a half weeks to achieve, well, I actually have a week less because, you know, time just disappears. So, this is actually our final week of this training block, which means if I want to achieve my 3k goal, I'm going to do it next Tuesday, which gives me a week from today. But today is Tuesday. The week did start yesterday. We had a lactic session and this is how it went. We're doing four 300s with 10 minutes break. I'm not sure about pacing or how I'm going to feel but I think I'm just gonna try and tack onto the back of Ash as long as that feels comfortable and work hard. First rep, 37.0. Second rep was 36.8. Third rep was 30, 40, 43. We're gonna do a 200 to finish off. I didn't get a time for that last rep because I just kind of stuffed up the stopwatch, but I think it was around 24 seconds. So that's it for today. At least we got the session done. That session definitely hurt, but I've pulled up okay today. A little bit sore, a little bit tired, but not too bad. So we're starting with some shot put today, and the plan is to bring a lot of energy into throws, which is kind of tricky because I'm feeling a bit tired, but I'm going to rev up a little bit. I'm gonna get my shoes on, I'm gonna get in there, and I'm gonna see if I can just bring some more energy, focus on only one or two cues, probably just loading up the ground in the middle of the circle and then like exploding long and seeing if we can pop a few out there. This event sometimes just frustrates me. I had the energy there today, but just the timing of the throws were out. I think I was throwing it a little bit too high instead of just pushing the shoulder through and not really worrying about that height. The throws just, they just didn't go anywhere today and uh, I was getting really frustrated in that session. But, I'm going to take that energy into gym and smash out some exercises. That's everything finished for today. I still need to do a 3k run, which I'm gonna do when I get home because I forgot my Apple Watch, but um, I'm not gonna film it, so that's how I went. It is Wednesday afternoon or night, and we're at QSAC doing some javelin, which is gonna be interesting because it's freezing. So I've got like three layers on right now. The plan is to warm up, do some stretching, do some ball stuff, go onto the javelin, and kind of try and get a bit of that feel, the timing back.
all right we are leaving the throws there the throws actually felt really good today I threw on Monday which I didn't film but I had no connection in the throws on Monday but today I was actually starting to feel like I was able to kind of let go and relax and let some length happen without losing all of the control in the javelins so very good session today um, I finally feel like my javelin is getting back on track after uh, I guess just inconsistent sessions and uh, that's it for today I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on Thursday I went out to the track to do some accelerations it felt really good just loading the foot up, no pain at all. Unfortunately, I forgot to take the camera out. So if you would like to kind of imagine how it looked, it was pretty much the same as last week, except quicker and a little bit more emphasis on the acceleration. Then on Friday, I had a pole vault competition. And what I thought I would do is actually take you through jump by jump to, to take you through what was going on in my head and the progression of poles and all that sort of stuff. So let's jump straight into it. All right, my warm-ups actually felt really good. I started off an eight step with a really soft pole and kind of just progressed up the poles, up the, up the stiffnesses until I was off a 12 step off the pole that I could actually start the competition on. So warm-ups felt really good. This is my first attempt at four meters 60, which is quite low for a starting height. Usually I'd start at 470, which I guess is not the end of the world, but it means I need to do an extra jump but there was a massive side wind that, or crosswind that gusted up, so it pushed my pole to the side. But because I didn't cross the line of the box, I was able to go back and jump again, and it was a clearance. The pole was way too soft though, I almost hit the, the bar on the way up. So for the next jump, I went up a pole, and this is 470 now. Again, nice easy clearance. I feel like at these heights, I don't focus too much on technique, not enough anyway. Um, and as you can see here, I just kind of drop my my legs at the bar because I know that I'm gonna clear it. It's kind of a bad habit, but I feel like it's almost just a safety thing, knowing that I'm going to clear it and making sure that I clear it. This is up to 480 now. I think I started jumping a little bit better here. I did. Um, I think I went up a pole as well. But as you can see here, instead of like getting stuck, stuck in this pike position, I kind of keep going through the invert. So better jump, pole is still soft. So up to 490 now. Came in off a stiffer pole. Yep, went up a pole. And I, can't, I think it just kind of shocked me a little bit. So I definitely could have cleared that off this pole, but just kind of caught me off guard. So on the next one, I was confident that I would be able to get it. Came in, thought about just going straight to the invert and it was a nice clean clearance. Then up to five meters, same pole again, and it started to become too soft. So as you can see here, I just, I'm dropping my legs at the bar too much. And the pole is not giving me enough ping off the top. So, I didn't want to go up a pole because I just didn't have the confidence, but Marty told me I pretty much needed to if I wanted to clear the bar. So I put a milkshake on it because I always work better with a milkshake bet and came in, didn't use my left arm at all just to give me the space to clear it. And uh, yeah, that is a horrible position, but we managed to sneak our way over and five, is a really good jump. I, I wish I could do that super consistently. Then we went up to 510. By this stage, I'd had a lot of jumps. So first one was just getting used to the stiffer pole. It, 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 it is actually a really good pole for that height, but I have never jumped on that pole in competition. So it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Second attempt was probably my best attempt in terms of the position that I got into like decent takeoff, strong takeoff, and just here I had to just kind of trust that if I went through it, I would have, I would have cleared the bar. But I, I hesitated, then I got stuck here, and then I ended up not doing anything. That's a little unfortunate, but I have the confidence now that that pole is gonna be really good. And then 
third attempt, I honestly just like ran out of legs and as soon as I took off, my hips just swung through and then I was in a horrible position. So, three misses at 5'10", but I did clear five meters, which I would love to make a really consistent jump. And I got on my stiffest pole ever, which is really exciting because that was the stiffest pole that I was planning to take over to Tokyo and now I think I'm gonna have to take the next pole above that just in case. So definitely some very good signs for my pole vault. Unfortunately, the following day, I was supposed to do the 100 and the shot put, but my toe pulled up sore. So I ended up pulling out of the competition just to let it rest. I got some treatment, we did some mobility stuff, and then the plan was just to offload it for the next couple of days. So back to offloading the foot, which is kind of frustrating, but not the end of the world. And that is it for this week. If you guys enjoyed me taking you through the competition, jump by jump, let me know. And apart from that, that's it. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Ciao.